Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to use crisp.chat in your Adalo app in order to have a live chat experience. So let me show you what this will look like. Okay, let's log in and go to the live help page. And what you're going to see here is a chat thing. I've already um, tested it, as you can see. Uh, we can say hello, hello. And on my phone, I'm getting notified here um, that there's a visitor um, who maybe needs some help. So this is not for users to chat to each other. Um, it's for customer service. Maybe it's um, a help. Uh, for technical problems or maybe it's actually a customer uh, who is buying something from you but the great thing about this is just how fast it is and you can customize this on crisp there's um, many different options you can do and starting off it is completely free not just a trial it's going to be free until you need more features Okay, so let's get started on how to do this. Now, you're going to have to sign up to Crisp um, and set yourself up. So here's my setup for Adalify. You can see I've got loads of messages that I just sent myself from our app. Um, now, the important thing is when you set it up, um, you're gonna have to create a website uh, with a website name and a domain. Um, so, I mean, Let's just show you how this will be. I can't go through the whole process because I've already done it and I don't have another website for this. Okay, but you're gonna put your website in there and you've got your domain, your website name, you can have an icon, and then you're gonna get your setup instructions here. Now the standard setup procedure on here is going to make it a pop-up chat box. Um, Okay, for example, on my Adalify website, at the bottom here, you've got a pop-up chat. Okay, um, but for our app, we don't want to do that. We're going to do it in a slightly different way. Um, this is absolutely great for websites, but if you're a Adalo app, we can't um, have this little thing in the corner. It doesn't really work. Okay, so here's the documentation that we need, and I will put this in... Um, description of the video so that we can try it um, and basically crisp chat gives you a website ID uh, which will be in your settings you can see here on this new website I made it gives us a website ID um, so that's what we're going to be using let's go back to Adalo and set up now and we're going to be doing this in a web view so add a web view, nice and big. Really, we want this to take um, you know, a large part of the page to make it good UI. Um, and then for the URL, uh, we're gonna get it from here. So as you can see, um, you copy this URL and put your website ID at the end. Really as simple as that. So I'm going to go back to Crisp and get the website ID from the settings and feed in the website ID. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, so it's working straight away. Um, it's a really simple setup. So let's say hello. And you can see visitor, hello, hello here. And I can reply to my visitor. And going back, we can see there's a reply on the app. Um, so yeah, really quite simple. It's um, a really great user experience. Um, I've tried this on APK and it's working perfectly and I don't see why it wouldn't work natively too um, on, on the stores. So um, that's a great thing to try. It's particularly going to be useful if you're doing a desktop web app. Um, I think that's all. So any questions, let me know.